Arnold waiting for the sign he wants and the payoff. Ball four outside and it's a leadoff walk. A long hold from Hartle in the 0-2. Swing and a grounder, that might be it. To short, second for one, on to first. In time to get Benson, he thought he was safe. Here comes the 1-0. So tap it back to the mound. Glove by Hartle, he'll underhand to first. Inning over. Here's the payoff. Outside ball four, and Williams draws a leadoff walk. Third base today. And he scores the bunt, puts it in the air. Gangora has it. He will fake throwing behind the runner at first. And running, see if they can get guys on. Takes ball four low. And so two walks in the first inning, and Wake threatening. To put Wake ahead, he says, hey, I gotta be able to move him. He rips that one through the left side. It's a base hit. Williams to third. He'll hold on there. And Wake has the base and load with one out. The ball gets away. Williams is going to try and score, and he will. And the other runners move up. What nothing Wake for us. Really bust things open for Wake in the first. A check swing roller to the left side. Diving stop by Beard. A run is going to score, and everybody will be saved. It's an infield single. Beard may have saved a run. To get hit for home. Pitch in the air. Right center field. Coming in is the right fielder making the catch is King. Runner tag it to the home the throw out on time. And it's now 3-0 way. To scoring position. Ninth pitch of the at bat, and Hawk drives it up the alley, right center field on the run and making the two-handed catch, crashing into the fence. So we do the count. It's for sophomore Whitney from Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. He's down on strikes. And the first strikeout for Josh Hartle, two outs. They do a great job in the north. Out to the short, King has it. Over the top, the first and a one, two, three, second. Down, it feels like. Into the dirt, no, it hit him. And so a two strike hit batter, and so Wake does end up with traffic. And the first relies on his command a bit, the two, two. And served into shallow center field. It's a base hit for Williams. Stopping at second is Salvino, and Wake Forest threatening again, up 3-0 in the second. And the 2-2. Check swing, did he go around? He did. Tell you wanted them to appeal. They didn't. Coming up, who's also can smoke the baseball. Liner into center field, on the move, making a diving attempt. Is the center fielder, Lippi, it's passed him into the wall. Two runs are going to come home to score. King streaking to third in there, feet first, with a two-run triple. It's 5-0, Wake Forest. Three and two, the count to win A, the pitch. Breaking ball down low, ball four. They appeal to first, no swing. They're hitting me. 2-2, two -two called strike three. That time he landed the breaking ball, and the inning is over. And Goro, too, trying to be too perfect. Ball four inside as that breaking ball backed up, and the leadoff man is aboard. Ballestero is just really good getting that low pitch. That one's too low, and it's a pair of walks here in the inning for Hartle. The first pitch to Zion Rose is hit on the ground to the left side and threw for a base hit. It's going to get Louisville on the board as Williams bobbles it, a runner heading to third now. He's safe, and Rose heads up, base running behind the plate, gets to second. It's 5-1 way. With some defensive misplays in Hartle's first two starts. It's a grounder to the left side this time. Tell you're coming home, and they've got a man hung up. They will tag him. No, he is safe. He got around the tag of Tellier, and the bases are loaded. Excellent base running from Hoy. Wow. I mean, what happened there? First pitch. Breaking ball hit in the air. Center field going back onto the warning track. Looking up. It's gone. Luke Mapleton with a grand slam, and Louisville's tied the game at five. Oh my goodness, Luke Napleton. We said the power was there. Led all of Division II last year with 29 home runs, led in RBIs as well with 87. Coming up big with the seventh home run of the season, driving it out to the big part of the ballpark, center field. Boy, he did not miss this baseball. It's a breaking ball, catches the middle part of the plate.
doesn't try to pull this baseball. Hits it where you're supposed to, and boy, just shows off the power. You should have had another out at third base, but you went too early. This interesting ball game. What a play. Energy. Called strike three. Breaking ball locked up Ballestero, and that's the first and out here in the third. He gets jammed on that one, rolls it to first. One, two, three inning for Gondora. Keep him out of his rhythm, to keep him from being a fan. It's a moment as that one ends up in right field, a base hit. King blistering one past Seaver King. If you start to show me that you're throwing a whole bunch of strikes in there, then that's when all of a sudden I go, okay, I have to change it. I don't want to get hit by a baseball. With Logan Beard lays down a sacrifice, but attempt Hartle looked at third, double clutches to first, but gets the out. An impact. That one chopped to the left side and fair. Pass Delier down the left field line. Two runs are going to come home to score, and Louisville has the lead, 7-5. The number nine hitter, Dylan Hoy, with a chopper down the left field line to give the Cardinals the lead. It looks like it's going to be one of these high scoring ball games. So Josh Gunther getting loose to late steal for second to throw by Ballestero in time. And a big second out. That's been a, a college rule for a long time. On the ground to the left side and through for Zion Rose. He's on base for the third time today. A huge turnaround first. And he'll have to hustle back with a slide. Pitch chopped to the left side. Glove yeah. there by Tellier. Strong throw across. In time defensive. Inning over. Up and down, one through nine. They've got a lot of good hitters. Salvino in the air to deep left field. Over the head of the left fielder, Benson. He will take a big turn at first and have to hold on. Extremely well right now. 2-0 to Williams. Swinging a bouncer to the right side. First baseman McCoy has it. He'll take it himself on the play. So he goes to third. Player will have to battle now. He swings and chops it. He'll get the run home and it'll get into center field. A two-strike base hit for Adam Tellier. And Wake trails seven to six. No matter what is going to be a hit, but you're right. I'm surprised. Runner goes the throw down to second, not in time. Tellier using his wheels to get into scoring position with the tying run. That string gets pulled. King on the ground to the left side. Right the first and it's in and out of the glove of McCoy. Tellier will race to third. He's going to be sent home. No throw. Tie game 7-7. And here's Jack Winnay. 7-7, last of the fourth. Move to second. And King back standing. They're going to call a ball. They're going to call a block. What, do you, what did you see there, Gabby? It, it looked like his step wasn't directly to the base. Big spot here against the cleanup man, Jack Winnay, who swings and skies one to left field. Moving behind it is Benson. He'll make the catch. Tagging and heading home without a throw is Seaver King. And Wake Forest has reclaimed the lead, 8-7. to 7. one liners. That one lined into right center field. It's a base hit. The inning continues for Wake with two outs. Sitting more. <laughs> in the dirt. And now caught up between first and second is right as he'll run to second. And he is tagged out there and the inning is over. Get yourself back into a relaxed mode and now all of a sudden it's bases loaded with the big hitter up. Luke Napleton who delivered that grand slam in the third leads off the fifth with an opposite field single. Will it be out of the bullpen or as a starter? Swing and miss. That's the first down. Hartle is second strikeout. It's not his fault of what was going on and what transpired. We should have been out of the inning or out of the game. That's a tough play for Ballestero. He does not throw to first, an infield single. And then he gets a big strikeout here of Eddie King, two outs. On here for Louisville's offense, the pitch. Swing and a grounder to the right side, gloved by Winnay. He'll take it to the bag himself. Strike three. Well located. Fastball at 95. One out. We're trying to punch this ball and get a base hit, not trying to do anything else. Swing and a miss. High fastball blown by him in back to back strikeouts. And then you're going to be on play with that fastball. Called strike three at the knees. Nelson didn't like it, but Corbett strikes out on the side. 
swing and miss. Hurdle's fourth strikeout, third in the last two innings, two outs. As a ball, that ball has been up in the zone, or real out of the zone. Zion Rose lines one to second. Austin Hawk is right there. Outstanding teams. Swing and miss. That's four straight strikeouts. The 0-2, swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts. Goro went just three and a third, his shortest outing of the year, but Corbett's keeping his team in the game. And he got Tellier to pop it up on the infield. And it's a one, two, three inning. Swing and a miss. One out compared to what you have in Chicago. Swing and a miss. That's a nasty breaking ball, two outs. A pitch. Swing and a fly ball. Left field. In the alley, it's Williams. He'll make the catch. But it's just, I'm swinging underneath it. Swing and a miss, and that one gets to the screen. King is going to reach on the wild pitch. Play for the hitter to be able to crush. Made to the left side and through. It's a base hit. King will stop at second. And Wade threatening first and second again. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number seven for Corbin. Two outs. Eight, seven, wait the payoff. Upstairs, ball four. The first walk issued tonight by Corbin. And just try to put it in play. One, two, chop towards the middle of the field. And it'll be gloved by the shortstop. Hoy, and everybody's safe. An infield RBI single for Cam Nelson. And Wake leads nine to seven. Nine to seven. Swing it around. Left field, it's a base hit. One run is home, everybody else moves up 90 feet. A big night of the plate for Mitchell Salvino, his second hit on base three times, and it's now 10 7 Wake Forest. 10 7 Wake Forest, the pitch. Up high, ball four, it's a bases loaded walk, and it's now 11 7 Wake Forest. 3 1. Inside ball four, back to back walks. Another run comes home. It's 12 7 Wake Forest. The 0 2. Swing a high chopper over the mound. Gonna be a tough play. It's an infield hit. Everybody's safe. Throw back behind the runner in third. But Williams gets back. Infield single RBI for Seaver King. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Campbell blows him away with a fastball. You normally get before having it fall apart. Swing and a miss. Two two. Swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts for Gunther. He's got four. Gunther set. Cold strike three. Five punch outs. Louder versus Skeens. Both were dynamite. Through the top seven picks in the draft last year is Reinish through the base hit. That you know there were some opportunities that Wake Forest cashed in on. That's a four-pitch walk to Nelson with a hit by pitch. Nice job in the nine hole, and he hits one high in the air to deep left field. Back to the fence, and it is out of here. Mitchell Salvino, three runs. Just busted it open. It's 16 to 7. Salvino making his first start of the year. Three hits and on base four times. Which looked to be a changeup that just got hung up because of. Potential weather called strike three. It bounces away from Ballestero, but he'll toss the first. One out. Last year at Maryland, a 388 ERA. Pitch clock violation, and Moore is down on strikes. I don't think he was in the box with eight seconds to go. Louisville will get a pinch hit appearance here. He checks the swing and fouls him back. They hit his hand. Are they going to say no swing? That's the last thing you wanted if you're Dan McDonald as to whether or not you get your Sunday starter in there. Falco set the 0-2. Swing and a miss, so the ball game is over. Wake Forest 
had a 5-0 lead. They had to come back from down 7-5, and they beat Louisville 16-7. Gabby, an important Friday win for a Wake Forest team that has Chase Burns going tomorrow.